Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. Last time I followed the instructions of a very complicated blueprint, which helped me to improve the running track. One turn of the running track now looks super impressive and yeah we can confirm that the running track looks super impressive over here but not so impressive here and super sad here well over here i ran out of red concrete powder so i need to craft more of this material so the goal for Today's episode is to repeat what I did last time three more times. I need to repeat it three more times and then the running track should be finished, which is cool. Well, the running track itself isn't finished then, but the, the main part of the running track is finished by then. Let's, uh, let's get some free arrows. All right, so much about my shield. Aha. Where, where, where's the XP? Why is there no XP? That's sad. Maybe, maybe there was XP. The, the sword is still in mint condition. So I guess, I guess the XP was immediately um, absorbed by the sword. Well, that's fine. That's completely fine. I got some uh, free arrows. And yeah, let's let's head over to the construction site. On a Monday, it seemed as if spring has arrived over the weekend. Early Monday morning, even before breakfast, I decided to go for a run because at this point, Monday seemed like a day full of meetings and so it would have been not so much ideal to go running throughout the day yes then i would have always to hurry to get back home in time and showered so that i actually can attend a meeting with with webcam running and um yeah so so i decided okay let's let's have the run right right in the morning even before breakfast the air the air was it, was it was smelling like flowers and blossoms and spring and whatnot. This, this was so surprising because the week before that it felt still like winter and all of a sudden it's summer. Uh, no, not, not summer. Oh dear. Luckily it's not summer yet. It's spring, but I'm afraid that summer will, will be also just around the corner that uh, yeah, we have one week of spring and then 30 centigrade until fall or something like this. This would be so typical for this region. So let's keep the fingers crossed that this will not happen. But um, yeah, so went on this early morning run and was really surprised about the, the scent of all those flowers and it was really like spring. So this was cool. That was very exciting. And yeah, I, I don't know why why this felt so so prominent because okay, let's see. I need to go four blocks wide here. I, I don't know why this felt so prominent. Most maybe it's due to the fact that I was super exhausted last weekend, so I basically spent the entire weekend just lying on my couch, watching YouTube, watching Twitch. Of course, I did my daily exercise, so on uh, Saturday I went for a short run, on Sunday I did some uh, strength workout, some, some own body weight workout, some others would call it calisthenics, so I, I'm not quite sure if this is really calisthenics, but I think this it goes into this direction. So this was cool, this, this was nice, but aside from those activities I was just lying on the couch trying to regain some energy 
So this was also the, the reason why I was not not that much looking forward to the start of the week with meetings again. I just want to have want to have a break or so. But um, Yeah, so so this was the weekend and so because I spent most of the time indoors I hadn't really realized or noticed the change in the nature something like this. It was interesting. This was very very interesting, very strange. All right, we are out. Oh no. Uh where where am I? I am here. Do I have torch? I'm here. Okay. Um Yeah, I might have not realized that, okay, weather is changing, nature is changing. It's so interesting now, all the trees, all the shrubberies, all of a sudden seem to get some leaves and flowers are blossoming everywhere and so on. So yeah, I guess spring spring has arrived and winter is over or something like this. Um, need to see, need to see about this if um, spring really has arrived. It was weird, the the other days I um, when I was running in the morning so even after breakfast was still that I had to wear my uh, my running jacket because it, and those long running ties tights because um yeah I, I don't know it was it was was not ready for for shorts and just a shirt and all of a sudden it's it's warm so well, this is exciting it's very exciting okay i need to go here wait i am now okay i need to oh dear where is it is it here? Yes, it's here. Here I need to add four more blocks. Okay, and then I just need to do this. Okay, now here. Here I need to have those are the original three and to those original three I need to add five. Five. And then then here it needs it should be like this and here it should be Let's remove a few. It should be like this, and over here it should be like this. Okay, I hope I hope this is symmetrical. Let's let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at this. And um, yeah, so we can was just about yeah I guess it looks it looks symmetrical this is cool all right nice very nice very nice indeed I think I will continue there because there I don't have to excavate but yeah th this this looks cool this looks very nice um weekend was all about relaxing yesterday yesterday was interesting I, I mean it's Tuesday but yeah Tuesday is teaching day and it was interesting because I during the first during the first uh, session I informed them that they do need to form groups at some point surprisingly they formed groups already and so I in the end of the session because we had some time left over they even asked Hey, can we can we have those 
private sessions in in Zoom that we can that we can um, already get to know each other. And I was pretty surprised because normally the the entire process of getting getting the groups ready is quite quite a task, quite a chore. And uh, this time it was like okay, but this. You, you did it on your own. It, it never happened before. This, this really has never happened before that the the groups formed on their own. Ooh, it's getting nighttime already. So th this was exciting. This was very exciting. And um, I hope this is a promise. I just see it as a promising start into uh, the, the summer term that they will, they will hopefully have some great results and that it will be a, a great summer term. We will see. We will see. But but yeah, I'm I'm in high hopes now. Th this never happened before, and so maybe this will be really good good semester. We will see. We'll see what comes out of this. So was quite puzzled. Was quite puzzled about this. And um, yeah, so uh, Monday, right? I, w I was running early morning because I was expecting lots of meetings. Surprisingly, some of the meetings were cancelled or postponed, so in the end the day was less condensed as I expected the day to be. Th this, was, this was a good thing and I thought, hey, this, this is cool, this is nice. As Yeah, I, I, I really noticed over the weekend, hey, I, I need less meetings <laughs> so um, felt good also on Tuesday a meeting was cancelled which was also nice not not really an urgent meeting it was just a regular meeting with one of the the students I supervise but still one one less meeting in a week which is good for today however there's a meeting scheduled which will be over by the time this episode goes live but before well after the recording of this episode so um apparently my apparently my professor once again needs some help with some uh, application for a grant or so and uh, we're, we're not quite sure yet three of us got invited to a meeting where he likes to okay where where is the okay here I need to add five two yes here I need to add five two okay one two three four five And we're not quite sure what what this is all about. We will we will find out during the meeting, I guess, what what this is all about. And um, yeah, this, this can result in more craziness for the for at least only the next two weeks because apparently the thing has to be finished in two weeks. This is the only information we've got so far. So it, it won't last forever, luckily. <laughs> But um, yeah, so that that can be that can once again be more unexpected work or so. Okay, wait, 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 wait a second. I think I did. Have I done something wrong here? Uh, not really, not necessarily. Okay, I need to remove you, gravel. Okay, from here I need to go six blocks. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here basically start here and then go all the way. So from here it's once again, how, how do I do this? This is the upper part here, I need to go 
six blocks this way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's put this thing down here. All right, then we need to go here to here. And we need to go and there need to be two blocks here. From here, two blocks there. All right, this, this should, should give me some orientation where I need to add blocks. So yeah, there, there can be more work. I, I'm, we will see, we will see. At the same time, I'm also preparing another small little experiment for a very short paper where it's just about... This is also a little bit of a weird thing. I submitted to this conference last year and we got accepted, but the reviewers complained about the fact, despite the fact that it's a short paper, they, they complained about that, okay, you... Wait, let's, let's see, so here, the original three blocks, I need to add five, two, one, two, three, four, five, so here. They complained about the fact that we had no user study. And um, now that they won't complain again, we will just add a little, very little preliminary user study. And I must say, it, it feels a little bit weird doing this because I mean we are we are doing this user study just so that we can um, present our system. One, two, three, four. That we can our present our system, and that we do have some some study data to present because the the reviewers complained about it. So it's not like we are actually conducting a very important experiment. It's more like, okay, we do a quick user study to find out if people find the system interesting so that we have some data in the paper to publish it. Despite the fact that short papers are intended to just provide some, some first insights into a new project or so, that, that is not finished yet. So th this feels a little bit weird. And this brings me back to the point that reviewers are strange and sometimes often require things that makes no sense <laughs> but um, anyways so there this going teaching surprisingly is going well thus far need to see if this continues to be like this I hope so oh yes oh yes this looks this looks cool now we just need to finish this part I just need some more some more red dye and then the the running track will be finished I this is just the weird angle I'm looking I'm having at this thing but this looks a little bit strange Yeah, I guess this must have been just my my viewing angle that it looked so strange. All right, that's fine. And um, speaking of running, yesterday I since since a very long time, I think it was the first time this year, maybe even I did another intervals session, which was which was cool and surprisingly. I continued where I left off, which is nice. So this time I started with only 400 meter intervals. So did 12 400 meter intervals to improve a little bit my speed. And this was cool that it still worked out that well. So 
doing this again. And um, yeah, I guess I guess those are, are the things. Those are the things that easy horse that happened since uh, last time. Also, there's one thing I haven't, I don't know, I, I, I want to complain about or so. Uh, it's, it's just the fact that the new, new Formula One season has started and until this year, one of the commercial but still public TV broadcasting stations always covered the Formula One race. Of course it was annoying because this went along with lots of commercial breaks and advertisement and whatnot, so the usual stuff that happens. But at least I, I was able to watch the Formula One races. This year, however, one of those subscription-based broadcasting stations has the the soul right on um, on covering the Formula One races and the price is rather high. So for the fact that I personally just want to watch Formula One races and I'm not really interested in all the other content they provide, the price is just too high to get a subscription as I think then I would pay for one Formula One race like 12 euros, 14 euros or something. I think I think the price for, for a subscription is like 30 euros a month or something like this. And when I just want to watch Formula One, nothing else they, they provide, then this is rather pricey. And um, yeah, I find, I find it super sad because I was watching Formula One for a very long time, decades even. And after this long time, suddenly no Formula One, because, yeah, I, I mean, th this is too expensive. No, no way, no way. That I, I, I find it super sad. I, I really find it, find it very sad. Also, th this is another thing I'm, I'm even really a little bit angry about the public television. So the free public television is funded by, well, I wouldn't call it a fee. Well, is it a fee? It's a, it's like like a like a small little tax or something like this. So everyone has to pay this fee for the the public television, no matter if they watch it or if they don't watch it, just everyone has to pay for it. I mean, it's it's it, it's a good thing looking at it from a a looking at it from oh dear creeper why why is a creeper in here no 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 oh no why why are you not shooting. All right. Ooh. Okay, how much how much damage or oh, skeleton? Or well, maybe I can dodge that skeleton. How much damage happened here? Not so much damage, uh, horse. Woo! Howie. All right. Thanks to the fact that he gets. Oh no, um, hmm. let's let's improvise here. Uh, gate, gate. Why is this gate so, so high now? Uh, we don't know, but uh, we are safe. And I th think aside from some snow, nothing, nothing bad happened here. Oh, my, my button. 
am. Hmm. All right. Uh, okay. Next time. Next time. I need to fix. Ah, this creeper. This creeper. Okay. Whew. This was this was a stressful end. Okay. I hope nothing nothing else was damaged here. Um, yeah. So no Formula One. And um, yeah. Oh yes. This this public broadcasting station. It's okay. Uh, it's it's good from a uh, just looking at it from. But from a demographical point of view at it, because it provides everyone with free access to television and so on. So this is fine. But they do have also the responsibility to show sports events that are of public interest. And they fail for Formula One. They do soccer. Who cares about soccer? I want to see motorsports. I want to see racing and not soccer. 22 people chasing one Leather ball. That's boring. No one cares about it. But racing. Racing is cool. I want to see racing. So why do you have why do I have to pay for something and they don't even provide me with the content I'm interested in? So basically I'm not using this their 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 content at all thus <laughs> far. So I'm just paying for basically nothing. Which is annoying and Especially annoying when when I think, hey, you can also use my money for for things I'm interested in or so. So um, yeah, this was the Formula One rant. And um, with that, we are at the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you will be joining me next time. Until then, my name is Abby. See you. <laughs>